All right, take two here. Take two. Uh, I know I said it's going to be gone for a... I could be gone with the whatever, whatever, but... Uh, you know, I was getting... I've been getting some things that's like, man, this is too important. It's kind of like you ever... I know I'm not the only one. I've seen other people go through that. It's like, hey, I'm going to... You know, gonna step back from YouTube and it's like oh man this is incredible this is a uh, it'd be stupid for me to keep this to myself so anyhow here's one um, I meant I'll mention again that if you want a good this is not a good primer channel to get you caught up and stuff like that it's not really what I do you know, I don't, I don't really, I've said before, I don't really have a YouTube channel. I just, you know, I just happen to do some videos sometimes for some reason. So, and, and when people, if people steal, I don't even call it stealing. If they take info, info from me and, and use it on a bigger channel, it's like, great. Should have did that to begin with, so I don't have to make them. But anyhow... Well, I mentioned the, 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 the only channel I've seen do these subjects justice is uh, the past in the like the past years uh, the Got a Minute uh, channel there. You know what, brother Aaron? Okay. So in general, I would say listen to what he's been doing the past year or two. Meantime, let's take a break and. Do the mint when you're running out of mint and your mint is still drying. I think this has mint oil in it. Anyway, since I didn't have any mint one time, got mentos. That's the closest thing I had. It tastes like it has mint oil anyway. So hopefully it does. I can't really read the uh, label there. It's all messed up. So let's get to the old thing here. Okay, so, you know, if you haven't heard him, I'd say, and you're interested in these subjects, uh, i say to go to God a minute thing, because, you know, like I said. But there's one thing, a reason why I'm making this, I would just say, hey, listen to what he's saying. If, you know, if I can hear a channel that agrees with me with all points of a teaching, I'll just say, hey, uh, go over there and listen to him. But here's something that I differ With him on, okay. So, here you go. Here's your. <laughs> this thing's dissolving water, by the way. Do you know that? Well, I'll, I'll get to it. Hold your horses. <laughs> if you don't mind. And yeah, this paper's stained and it's written really bad. That's, there you go, right there. Gives it character. There you go. A little stain there. So, uh, okay, so here, here's the thing that I, I, I differ. The, the reason why I bring him up is, if you want to know what I believe about these uh, subjects, pretty much listen to everything his channel's been doing the past year. And that's I'm, I'm agreeing with all of it. That's why I bring it up. Except, okay, here, here's where... And listen to my last two or three videos I've did on this subject. It's a go along with this. This is, this is more confirmation that I believe that it might be this year. Like the, especially the last video I did on this. Okay, it's for people that enjoys this here. It's a good subject. And uh, so okay, so he says he, like me and that channel agree with 31 A.D. April 25th, 31 A.D. We looked at it and um, okay, you know that's the crucifixion, resurrection that. Uh, I don't, you know, we're pretty pretty solid on that. I, I, I'll say the same thing he does on it. It's pretty dang solid on that. Okay. So sometimes he says, and I try to give it in chat and stuff like that, but uh, sometimes he says, okay, the, two th the, the Hosea 6, two days, 2,000 years, that would, that would bring you to 32 AD? Well, let's just look at that here. Well, if it's if let's say the two thousand years begin, it probably begin at Pentecost, and that's what we're going we're going to go to that here in a minute. 
God willing. But let's say it begin. Uh, we got any? Can we? Can we do a flashlight here. Can't do a flashlight while you're on the phone. Can't do it while you're on video. I don't know. I don't use these things. Huh. Can't do a flashlight while you're on your camera. Huh. I did not know that. That sucks. Ugh. Okay. So they, he, like he's saying, and probably some other people too, I'm not picking on anybody, that uh, that 2,000 years would give you to 2032, 20, 20, okay? I'm saying, no, uh, personally, I don't think so. And also, also when it comes to the 70 AD thing, if you begin the first one in 31 AD, you get your 40th, you know, the, the 40, they'll say 40 years, but it could have been 40 instances at the temple. It really has maybe been what it was. Don't even have to be 44 years on that one. Um, anyway, I still say that's 31 AD, crucifixion, crucifixion, resurrection. 40 of those times at the you know temple, the things weren't working and all that. Your 40th one would be at 70 A.D. That's one thing I've already talked about that. But when it comes to the 2,000 years, 31 A.D. If you begin at month one of what we're... I, I'm, I'm going to use their... For what? Just, you know. You could call it 31 A.D. Or call it 3791 A.D. Okay. There's that much of a difference on it. Okay. If you follow me, either way, whether you call it 31 AD or 3791 AD, if it begins on month one, 3791, two full. Now, this this is not like like hitting your 2000th birthday and, and, and your whole year is not gone. Well, it is kind of like that, but it's not named the same way. Anyway, I'm not going to explain it all yourself. You can do a little bit of the, figuring this out yourself. I'm not going to explain everything like I'm a school teacher although maybe I should and if somebody wants me to I would but I'm not going to do it right here because you know you don't know who's going to be listening to these videos so you kind of like try you, you try to break down as much as you can but you also try to get on with it so uh, 2004 years like okay you begin at 3791 also called 31 AD month one one full year would bring you to what month one or it was around april of 32 a.d it would be april 32 a.d or april month one three seven nine two a.d okay you do the same three four five thousand two thousand at the end of two full span of years two thousand full spans of years you would end up at month one of this year here, 5791, or what we call 31 AD. Hopefully that recorded. If not, this whole video is not going to make sense if I didn't record. So, after two, from, from the crucifixion and resurrection, or you could go from the Pentecost that year. You could go Pentecost 31 AD, or... Somebody might call it 3791 AD, or not AD, 3791 on the some Jewish calendars. Um, month three, like month three of uh, Pentecost. If, 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 if you begin then, if month three, it would be, you know, year 579, uh, the 2000 years would end on 5791, full 2000 years. It's not, you know, not just the end of 1999 and the beginning of a 2000. It's after 2000, full years have elapsed. You'd be you get a month three, five, seven, nine, one, or what we call 31 AD. Okay, so just you know, I don't know if it, maybe somebody hadn't thought of that. They hadn't let slip past them or something. It's pretty basic, but that's what it is. So anyhow, I, I think what he did is, okay, so we got to go on the third day, so we got to go 2001. But what he's calculating by getting to 32 AD from 
3180, April 3180. He's calcul calculating 2001 full years. The last day of the 2000th year, let's say uh, the count begins on month three, and I kind of believe it did, and that's what we're going to get on next. Let's say it begins on month three of 5791, or what we would call June of 31 AD. Let's say it began June 31 AD, okay? And okay, here's 2,000 years to go for this. It would end on what? Oh, well, if it was June 25th, it would end on, eh, going by the Gregorian. It probably wouldn't be that way, but uh, let's not go by the Gregorian because that's going to cause, that could cause confusion. Let's see the third month, uh, 15th day is when, when it began, when the 2000 year began of 5791. Which is 3180. It would end on that month three of a well, three seven nine one. It begin on month three, end on month three of five seven nine one. And so, when would the uh, when would the third day begin? Also, you could look at it as a two thousand and first year. When, when would that begin? It would, it would begin on let's say June sixteenth. It would begin on June 16th of uh, 2031 AD, or what they call 5791. Okay. In case anyone's kind of dozing off because of the way I speak, the summary of all that jabbering on that I, I did is <coughs> if we take the April 25th, 31 AD, and you add 2,000 years to it, full 2,000 years, the two days, you'd actually end up somewhere around April. I don't know why it's doing that. It don't usually do that. And somewhere around April, um, around that same time of year, in 5791, or what we call 2031. And a day later, the 2001st year, or you could call it the third day would, would, would begin. So, and here's another thing that I think that is, but now, now it could happen the way the God a Minute channel says it. It could, it could, uh, but also within that year, um, uh, now nah, I was gonna, I was gonna, no, nah, I, 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 I'm actually doubling down on this. I was gonna say it could happen the way he, um. He's, he's saying it, but actually that would be in biblical years. That would be I'm trying to make it quit going off there. I don't know why it's doing it. That would be the 5792 years because the year begins, uh, you know, about 14 days before Passover. And so if you're going to uh, 2025, Pentecost of 2025, that would be the year 5792. And, well, it, it could. The, the only way that it would make sense for 2,000 exact years, 2,000 full exact years, it could make sense for Pentecost 2025. If the uh, count began on Pentecost 31 AD, if the count began on Pentecost 30, of 31 AD, it could end like essentially a day before, a day before Pentecost of 2025 AD. That would be 2004 years. Scratch that, man. I'm I'm, I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to be agreeable. I'm trying to uh, give someone else's view uh, its due. But no, scratch that. No, it wouldn't. If it began Pentecost 31 AD, which is, I say is as late that is, it would have, but some people say they wait until uh, Philip uh, didn't go to the Gentiles until Philip goes to uh, the Ethiopian eunuch. Eh, I don't believe that. No, it, it began on Pentecost 
I'd say if, if not before then, but at least on Pentecost, I would say. And, and, and all of God a minute's work, I would say yeah, Pentecost, because, and that's what I'm going to get to here in a minute. I think he's seeing the beginning of the church age, but I don't think Pentecost has to be the end of the church age, is what I'm going to get to. Where's the light at, man? Um, no, it wouldn't. Because the 2001st year, that's, that's, that's more than uh, 2,000 years. That's technically, you're getting in kind of, you, we would call it like the third millennium. The 2,001st year would be the beginning of a third millennium, also, you know, known as the third day. So after, if it began on, let's say, June 31 AD, let's say June 15th, let's use Gregorian, just for simplicity here. Begin June 15th, 31 AD, the 2,000 years would be, be up that 2031 AD, maybe June 14th, whatever. So June 16th, 2031 would be the beginning of 2001st year. So it actually kind of wouldn't make sense. If the crucifixion and resurrection was 30, April 31 AD, and you're counting 2,000 full spans of years, you know, one full year, two full years, okay, 1999 full years, 2,000 full years. By, uh, by July, August, September, and so forth, 2031, you're in your 2001st year. So actually, I, if it's 2000 exact years, and, and April 31 AD was, was the beginning date, or, or June 31 AD, yeah, that's, that doesn't fit as good. You're, you're in your 2001st year, which I don't think is it. For the ending of the 2000, now for the beginning of the third day, yeah, it could be July, August, September. So let's just roll with an example to keep this, you know, simple and such, easy to follow. Let's, let's just say, April 31 AD, April 25th, 31 AD was the crucifixion and resurrection. June, I don't know what it was, but let's say June 15th, 31 AD was the day of Pentecost, okay? I'm saying it looks more likely that 2004 years ends on what we call 2031, the third day, or the beginning of the third millennium, however you look at it, the beginning of the uh, 3,000 years span, you know, let's say the beginning of the third day, would be, just going by Gregorian calendar, June 16th, would, would start June 16th, 2031. And then that's... I mean, you know, if, if we're going by exact counts and exact spans of years and the calendars are, you know, worth worth using, well then, you know, that would be what it is. So, look at my last video about Yom Teruah and why I believe that that would be the beginning of um, the Daniel's 70th week. So, so if that's the case... Which, uh, what, what's going on? I don't know why. Uh, uh, if that's the case, then and I believe it is because if God's going to be exact, if God's going to be exact, well then. Um, that would that, that would be the most exact way to do it. Two thousand four years from the start of, I believe, probably Pentecost, and that's what I'm going for here. So, so what would that be? That 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 would mean. Well, the prophecy is for the the end of the end the end of the seven years. End end of the seven years of tribulation. Twenty thirty one is what that's, you know looking like that's what that's saying and so the beginning 
would be around that time too. It would be pretty close to it. Would that be on the third month? So that that would mean that you know the seven years would begin on the third month around Pentecost and end around Pentecost. No, and uh, here's why. And we talk about a gap theory that um, from the time of the rapture to the um, beginning of Daniel's 70th week, I think that gap theory that, well, okay, this doesn't directly speak to that gap, but it does in a side type of way. So this is a rough draft. I'm going to have to get this more neat and yeah I might have to get this more neat before I really do it but it is, consider us a rough, rough draft on this okay I'm trying here um, so here's what it looks to me if I could explain it um, the third month in the uh, I've circled the numbers of the month on the biblical calendar and the year numbers I'm using Gregorian, our regular calendar. So third month, that would be the third biblical month of 31 AD. Is the way I'm doing it here, okay. First month, 31 AD, crucifixion. Third month, 31 AD, Pentecost. 2,000 full years, okay. And we got to, before that 2,000 full years is done, we got to seven year. Uh, uh, Daniel 70th week here. Uh -huh. And I, I believe if you listen to my last, especially the last video about it, I believe that begin. It, it looks like to me it begins on trumpets, which is the seventh month, biblical month of 2024. Ends atonement, because I, I showed how it was 20, 2,550 days from trumpets there's like one day off and you know that could reconcile itself to it not be one day off it could be exact so it's pretty exact one day off or exact 2550 to atonement of 2031 the way the biblical calendars work there the next year, I spoke about it last video, but the next year, 2025 to 2032's atonement, Trump's to atonement, not as exact of a fit, and the eclipses are not as, it, it is not as um, impressive in 2025 before Trump's as 2024. 2024, this year, October 2nd, we have a full uh, annular eclipse like a day before Trump's. 2025, uh, at three or four, three, four or five days before Trumpets, there's a partial. You know, because it's kind of like the cycle, as the eclipse cycles are around that time and stuff. Eclipses in, the exact days look better for 2,550 go from Trumpets to Atonement in 2024 to 2031. I did that last video. Back to this, so... Uh, Okay, so four months. So the technical exact full 2,000 years from if you start at the third month, Pentecost, <clears throat> of 31 AD, which I believe is probably when it started. This is, is, is my scenario. I don't know a better scenario. If you do, uh, let us know. For, for all these cycles and all uh, the math and everything that it began on in the scriptures, uh, third month of 31 AD, 2,000 full years, would be the third month of 2031 AD. Okay, the third month. But we know, or at least I believe, that Daniel's 70th week ends on the seventh month of 2031, though, in this, in this view, okay? Which looks very good. I don't, I don't know a better view. So why does the uh, <coughs> why does the seven years end on the seventh month of 2031 A.D. then? But those two thousand years end on the third month of 2031. 
Well, one thing you could say is it said after two days. They say the technical end of that 2000 is, uh, okay, it just I didn't write it down here, but third month of, let's write it down here, help it see. Third month of 2031, okay. Yeah, whatever. So, yeah, it's good writing. So that's uh, that's four months away from from the ending of uh, Daniel's seventieth week. Uh, in that view, well, one thing with that is, you remember, I believe I, 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 it came to mind, of course, and um, you're probably thinking this already. And uh, I think this, you know, how Scripture has multiple layers of meanings and fulfillments and things. Not that this is the only layer of truth about this, but let me read it for yourself. Uh, Jesus said unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me and to finish his work. Finish his work. Say not you, there are yet four months, and then comes harvest. Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes. And look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. I've seen this in Scripture uh, in another place. That what I'm saying is, I'm going to write it a better way, but the way I wrote it when I first seen it is, it's right here. Third month Pentecost, okay? The gap from, let's see, okay, right here. A span of days in the calendar, like, you know, if you look at a one year biblical calendar, you got those, you know, first month and, you know, with the Passover in it. You know, you got those seven main biblical holy days, days and, yeah, such. And you could kind of see through it. I believe you you could see things like a span of uh, history uh, as well. So, in this view, it's saying that uh, I, I believe it could be saying that the third month, if you look at any year, if you just look at a year, you look how the seven are strung throughout the year. For instance, the third month or Pentecost could um, represent the beginning of uh, the church, which I believe it did. And then there's a four-month gap between it and the seventh month, right? Okay, it's about a four-month gap. Sometimes to atonement, it might be about exact four months. But it's about a four-month gap. And I believe that gap could represent, if you, if you hear what I'm saying, the um, age of the church, uh, the age of the harvest, um, of uh, the church uh, say not yet there, there's yet four months to the harvest because I tell you now since Pentecost since what he did on the cross and resurrected ascended and there, everything that happened the Joel 2 was fulfilled and this is the letter this is what is spoken of in Joel the prophet, uh, this is, um, Acts chapter 1 and 2. So it makes the fields are already white. In the past 2,000 years, I believe, we've been in the age of the fields being already white. You see what I'm saying? Past 2,000 years, we've been in the age of the field is already white for harvest. That's the age we've been in. We sometimes call it the age of grace, you know. So those four months, I believe... Uh, I mean, I'm still praying to God about it, but I'm feeling very good about it. Represent the uh, church age, you could say. You know, from that third, from the third month, especially of these years we're talking about, um, to the seventh month, which is the beginning and end of Daniel's 70th week, all both in the seventh month. Yeah. A span of days in the calendar representing a span of a dispensation that represents Pentecost to trumpets. 
you could say is a representative of the church age. Okay, that's what I'm, that's what that's what we're saying here. Okay. So that's the four months, and you got that. What is it? John four thirty five verse we gave. Uh, I think is a kind of a hint to that. It sounds like it to me. Be because of all the things we've uh, talked about in the last video and um, <clears throat> so forth, that uh, 2,550 days is there. Uh, so uh, what all this is saying is It looks like to me that uh, Daniel's 70th week, I mean, if we go by the exact days, exact years, if we, um, if, if we are set and solid on April 31 A.D. and Pentecost June 30, 31 A.D., 2,000 exact full years, Bring it to the third month, 2031 A.D., but it sounds like within that time, before it's all over, the seventh month of 2031 A.D., that might be after the two days, because that's when the two days ends, right there, 3-2031 A.D., after two days, and in the third day, he shall raise us up, and that's, I'm not getting all into that, but if you've studied these things, you probably know what I'm talking about. And so that's what I present to you. That's what I think it looks like to me. You know, somehow, so somewhere that four months is in there. And one other thing I wanted to say you could kind of, let's say, let's put that four months on the front end of the uh, Daniel 70th week, okay? If you looked at it, the four months, I mean, it's not really there, but it's kind of there. The, well, what's, what was the third month of 2024? Okay, I believe so. That's why I mentioned the Got a Minute channel, and it, I, I agree. The thing is, I agree with all those findings that both me and him and Whoever else, I haven't, I haven't really seen anybody else, but I imagine other watchmen too have been finding them. The um, all the connections with the uh, Pentecost, especially of that year. Now he's going on to next year now, and I'm, uh, I'm not, I'm just not given everything that I've seen too, and things we've seen this year about Pentecost 2024. He kind of. Uh, I'll be nice. Uh, I'm nicely saying jump ship. I don't know. That's you know. You know what I'm saying. I'm saying it lightheartedly uh, about 2024 because he, he, you know, he sees uh, Pentecost as being the best day for uh, rapture, the ending of a church. Yeah, you know, I, I see what he's saying, but here's the way I'm looking at it. That it, the way it looks like it could be is. Um, Sure, it was the beginning of the church. It was the beginning of the church, but kind of the, uh, right there, kind of the span of the church represented in the calendar. It could be those fields of whitest harvest. It, you could kind of represent it as from the third month to the seventh month. Okay, so I think you I think you're following what I'm saying here. So to break <coughs> so to break it all down, what I'm saying here, what it looks like, um, that yeah yeah I, I agree with people that say Pentecost, especially Pentecost this year, looks so much like uh, definitely the start of the church. Uh, so much things to do with the church, so much things with our birth, so much things, so many things we've been looking for for the rapture, too. 
but I'm saying it could be the view could be, yeah, that that was that was the beginning, third month of Pentecost beginning, and four months before this right here, trumpets of 2024. We've seen the, the, the Pentecost of this year, but that doesn't mean that's the end of the church, you know. Even though it's like we've already had the signs, and now we're waiting for this for everything to end. <clears throat> it's like we've already had the signs for the church, the rapture of the church and everything, but now it's just like uh, we're in this uh, uh, field, look up, fields white for the harvest, four month gap, really, you could kind of say, between Pentecost of 2024, which we've already seen was major, huge, huge signs everywhere it's like oh man that's got to be the rapture this has got to be it but i believe daniel's 70th week begins i mean if you know a better scenario let, let us know it looks like daniel's 70th week begins trumpets 2024 that's like uh, october 4th 2024 is when trumpets is you know and so the rapture can be any time between now between Pentecost, which has already happened, and Trump is a 2024. That's that's the summary of this, okay? That's the summary. That is the summary. We are in that uh, four-month gap that represents the church, and it, uh, I mean, it ends like October 2024 in this view. And I'm internet concluding on this, the only other, and I've said before, the only other, um, I mean, I mean, if these things mean anything, if we're, you know, if these, if, if, if the, the 2,000 full exact years mean anything, if that's, if that's something to calculate, um, and so forth, um, uh, 2,550 days, that, that the only, uh, Holy days that uh, begins and ends on a holy day, the 2,550 days is uh, that right there, you know, better than anything else. Then, yeah, I mean, you know, this way it looks like to be the only other option I see is next year. But as I've said on the last video and a little bit on this one, to me, it doesn't look as good next year as it does this year. One thing. You know, 2,000 full years from that or that, you know, equals that. You know, you're so that's that. So, ending this now, I don't want to end on 39. That's not a good number. I don't like that number. <laughs> I don't like it. Like ending on a good minute now. So, um, also to end it, um, if, if we go into deep into October, you know, uh, I don't... Put it this way, I'd be more shocked... If um, at the beginning of October that, that we don't know that I, I don't know how we're not gone when Daniel's 70th weeks begins if is that remotely possible that we're not gone by the time as Daniel's 70th week begins as the seven year begins is it possible that we're here for a little while into Daniel's 70th week it's either that or and that uh, September 27th, supposed Nova and everything. Did I? No, it was on my community post. I written. You might want to go to my community post and read what I written about this Nova, September 27th, all these things. And it looks like to me more of a. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. It's. Um, it may be more of a sign of, of an antichrist. I would be sh shocked if Daniel's 70th week doesn't begin October 2024. 
I'll put it that way. For so many reasons. Um, would would we know? Could it, could it be possible we could be in it and not know it? I don't think so. Oh, and it, I know some people will think about the seal, so I guess I have to do that on another video. It's like, well, some people say, well, if it's pre-trip rapture, we're raptured, and then the seals, and then the... <clears throat> well, there's a couple views with that. See, I'm a person that <clears throat> believes the seals, when it talks about the seals, it, it, it's, it shows a... Um, we'll have to do that some other time. It shows more of a... Um, What's going on in heaven? Uh, even, even the fourth seal. <sighs> People are saying, well, uh, <clears throat> a quarter of mankind died during the fourth seal. Well, that's not what it said. I, I'm of the view that power was given unto him over the fourth part of the earth. See, these things are open in heaven, but th that doesn't mean he, he's not seeing a, a immediate manifestation of it on the uh, earth. But it, this could be extra. You don't even have to add this to what I've said today here. It's just another thing. The only thing that we see that is for sure an event as he's seeing it on the earth, the first one of those is the sixth seal. See, those things are, are look, Look, look how it said. Let's see. And when he had opened the third seal, I heard the third beast say, Come and see. And behold, lo, a black horse, and he that sat him on had a pair of balances in his hand. I heard a voice in the midst of four beasts say, uh, in the, the Four beasts, these are, these are in heaven. <coughs> all, all this is a scene in heaven. And I heard a voice in the midst of the four beasts say, a measure of wheat for a penny, three measure of barley for a penny. This is something being decreed in heaven. You know, and see the hurt not to hold in the mind. So I'm saying, I don't, that doesn't have to have any kind of time span on the earth as these are being opened. They could be open, you know, it's a different uh, thing to be an eternity in heaven and, um, uh, And as it manifested in time on the earth, except when it comes to the sixth seal, that and lo, there was a great earthquake in the sun. See now, now we're, we're we're getting down there, getting down towards earth now. Sun became black as hair sackcloth of hair. That's literal. The literal sun became literally black as sackcloth of hair. The moon is blood. Stars of heaven fell unto the earth. Now we got. We know something's happening on Earth here in this account when the six seals open. But that's something extra for another time. Uh, so. For the great day of his wrath is coming, who should be able to stand? There's a, there's a couple of possibilities of views that I still hold on that. Anyhow, back to the... Uh, I just wanted to share this uh, <clears throat> the main point is it looks like to me Daniel's 70th week is Trump is 2024 to atonement 2031 and we're in that gap time since we've already received and uh third month of 2024 we already received the signs we're just that's it and here in the month of month of a lull king of the field the fields stuff like that it's this there's many more signs that people are seeing when it comes to that so and there's more I had to say but uh I'll end it right there okay Thanks for listening to this one. God bless all the brethren. In Jesus' name, come Lord Jesus. Amen.